Every time. Every uh, was time. There, was there a game tonight or no? There was a game Sunday. Celtics yeah, that, lost. That, that didn't go well for y'all. It did not. It did not, sir. Uh, it, the, the series is tied 1-1. Uh, that little guy, Steph Curry, he um, he's pretty good. Uh, yeah, he's, know, he's, yeah, he's pretty good. I don't know if people know that. Uh, he I've heard might, good things about him. I've heard he might have a future in the NBA. I, just things I've heard around the, the, around the scuttle. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it didn't go well for us. Uh, okay. I think we had uh, – I think my team had about 17 turnovers. And that's before we got to the fourth. Uh, oh, God. So, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm still cheering them on. Still, you know, mm-hmm. still being, me and my son still wearing the gear. But um, it's, it's tied up. It's all tied up. Okay. So okay. let's get to it. Well, yeah, let's let's take your mind off basketball for a little bit and talk okay. about Netflix. Netflix is going ham this week as part of their – it's either the, Yeah, it's either the second or the third time they've done this. I don't know. It's not the first, but it's, you know, it's become an annual tradition. Mm-hmm. Uh, they released a bunch of trailers. We're going to try to react to most of them, or at least the ones that we like, at least. Uh, we got a teaser announcement trailer for Sandman, or The Sandman. Um, yes. Get you it told right. me a lot of – I know. I know. This is aside from this is by Neil Gaiman, right? Like the original mm-hmm. graphic novel. That's pretty much all I know about the Sandman. All I'm gonna say is this: uh, there's a section of the internet that has been waiting for this. Okay. And when I mean, so here, here's the tagline: Upon escaping after decades of imprisonment by a mortal wizard, Dream, the personification of Dream, sets about to reclaim his lost equipment. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, Neil Gaiman has a hand in this. Mm-hmm. So does David S. Goyer. Uh, up okay. and down. Um, some up, some down. And Island Heinberg. Now, you'll recognize that name because Alan Heinberg is a, a comic art, uh, writer, but um, he's actually been doing a lot of TV stuff. Okay. Uh, he was the one who did, um, if I remember correctly, he's the guy who created the Young Avengers and the uh, Avengers Crusade when it comes to Wanda and her children. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he also worked on Grey's Anatomy, my show. Uh, yeah, your show. <laughs> yeah. Seattle Grace. Uh huh. <laughs> so, um, so that's the, the the that's the creators behind the show. Um, I'm excited for it personally. I am. Uh, the, I, it's been a while since I've read all the books. It is a very trippy, mm-hmm. almost ahead of its time. Sandman, the book Sandman, basically put Vertigo on the map. So that's okay. all. It's it is the quintessential graphic novel, aka story. So, you know, you, you've said that's all I'm going to say now, like four or five times. I I, I keep saying, saying that. I keep saying it because in my head, I do not believe this is real, because like. You want to get to the trailer and then, and then talk more? Yeah, man. Let's get to the trailer because okay. I'm, I'm still at all this is being made. All right. Here we go. Ooh. I am the king of dreams. Ruler of the nightmare realm. What are you doing here, Etty? He's coming, isn't he? Yeah. Morpheus, the Aneromancer. You know the Sandman. He's a fairy story, Etty. He's no fairy story. He's back. Good to know. Put the guy in his hands! Open your hands, now! Forgive me, sire of the palace, the realm. They are not as you left them. With you gone, the realm began to decay and crumble. The dreams and nightmares no longer seem to recognize their monster. We will remind them. He's free. He's out of his cage. <laughs> that man's bleeding blood. Nope. Crying blood. Nope. Interesting. Is that what you wanted? It is, but it's very interesting who they showed and who they didn't show. 
Um, go, go, go into that. What, why? What is? So they show death. They show Constantine. Who the, so um, also Jolie Richardson is in this show, and I haven't seen her since. Um, Jenna Coleman is in the show. Fantastic. That's who that I, was. I haven't seen Jolie Richardson since Nip Tuck, and she was excellent in that show. I hated her every time she came on screen. That's how great she was. Okay. Um, Lucifer is not shown, and we know that's Gwendolyn Christie. Mm -hmm. uh, she... I just, I thought that was interesting. I did not see her in this, and that is a, and that's a really big character. Um, that I will say this: the internet kind of lost its mind when Dream was cast as a black woman. Um, Neil Gaiman has been on record saying, "Dream or death?" Um, death. I'm sorry, death. Okay. Morph Morpheus is um, the white guy. Um, death is being played by Kirby Hal Batiste. Awesome and lady. And that was a source of contention for some nerds on the internet. And even, and they tried to mansplain the Saiyan man to Neil Gaiman. Go on Twitter, it's hilarious. You'll see them. And it's like Neil Gaiman was like, I approved this casting and let me explain why. And they were like, like when Neil Gaiman goes, well, actually, uh -huh. that's when you lost. Like, just go ahead and delete your Twitter account. Uh -huh. um, so I'm I'm excited for this because this goes back to what I was saying before, and not just not to because you were telling me I was talking too much. That's the last thing. No, I, said. I was just telling you that you said for uh, what, what it was. What, for that's all I'm gonna say. But you kept saying that over and over. I'm like in shock. This is even real. Like as somebody like, who doesn't know anything, it just I like the way it's shot. It looks great. It looks great. It looks like a prestige show, which Amazon, um, not Amazon, uh, Netflix was the first the first to do it with House of Cards. Um, I'm in shock that they're do like, this is being done. Mm -hmm. This is one of the most critically acclaimed graphic novel series stories of all time. These characters are known throughout uh, comic uh, literati. It is the, it is one of the quintessential storylines from Vertigo, which really kicked off the idea that these stories were not just superheroes, that these were intricate storylines very mature themes not as far as like pornographic but just themes that were now that might that might have been lucifer i, I you want me to go I, back I, yeah go back because that might have been gwendolyn christie because it was happened so quick nope i think that's let's see we'll i think that's here. desire i think that was i think that's desire okay um the comments will let us know yeah, that I think that's Mason Alex uh, Alexander Park. I think that was Desire, um, okay. but anyway, I, I'm. It's you're not. Just, you're at a loss for words. It's it's interesting because because this is one of those things like like certain stories. I'm like, okay, that'll get told. That'll get told. That'll get told. And you're like, just financially, that'll get told. Like that'll make it on the screen. But Sandman is just one of those books that is just so hard to mm -hmm. actually nail down because some of the stuff is just so just so out there as far as ideas as far as challenging your perceptions the idea that the is personification there... of death is a little girl or is a young woman you know like that's that's mind blowing that the... so so question to that did this you, you talked about the personification of death mm -hmm. we also got that with marvel and thanos right did that happen with Marvel first or with Sandman? So it happened kind of at the same time, so to speak, a little bit, I want to say. So like, that's not a new thing, the personification of death being a being an entity, a living, mm -hmm. breathing entity. Um, it's not a new thing, but uh, uh, Jim Starlin, when he wrote, um, I want to say it was Jim Starlin who, who created, but Thanos. I don't think... Yeah, but he did. Yeah, uh, that name sounds right. That sounds familiar to me. As somebody uh, doesn't know, uh, I want to make sure when he wrote the original Infinity Gauntlet and Captain Marvel and Thanos and created these characters, he's not the first person to do that. Neither is Neil okay. Gaiman. Th these are things that have been, you know, told through literature. I I'm just in awe, and I'm and 
I know we crapped on Netflix a while back about their whole little, you know, how they've been doing things lately and people kind of easing up. Did we? Well, in the sense of like, they've had a couple of bad weeks considering they talk oh, about oh. They have two, 2 million subscribers this this quarter by this time and they lost actually 200,000. Then they laid off all of the people who they just, you know, par- paraded around like when they were like diversity and everybody sure. was like, are these real hires? Are these diversity hires? And then they were the first people to be let go. Sure. You know, Netflix has not been in the news for good things recently. Oh, and then, gotcha. then they dropped this on us and we're like, we forgot about all of that. Um, I'm excited. And and this is another thing in the trailer. Did you see that part that, that you, that a lot of other trailers haven't done the critically acclaimed graphic novel? They're, they're throwing that homage to the comics that like recognizing the history of where this story came from. So I'm, I'm excited for that. Cause to me, it, it seems as if that they're taking this property very seriously. Is there, is there anything from the graphic novel you can point to as an example? Nope. Like, oh, this is because you don't want to spoil anything. Nope. I just, okay. This is one of those stories where it's like, I cannot stress enough Neil Gaiman as one of the best writers of all time. But read his original work and watch the show. Like, I believe that this show is going to be very good okay. because Netflix, Netflix, in my opinion, has done well with big name properties lock and key they did fairly well uh umbrella academy um what was the bones and oh the uh, one that the trailer that we watched and we were like oh this is kind of interesting yeah uh, i'm trying to remember i can't what remember what it's called but i did enjoy that the, the show that I you watched watch, because you watched the show and you enjoyed it yeah some of their big name properties that they have bought brought in they've done a good job with now the mark miller stuff wasn't that great when it comes to um jupiter's uh Jupiter Ascending or whatever? Jupiter's Legacy. Ascending is a different movie with... Uh, oh, right. That's with that's, the dog man and the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And uh, old girl from uh, that 70s show. Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis, yeah. yes. Yeah. Which, honestly, it wasn't terrible. Like, I liked the special effects. I just didn't couldn't get over, you know, uh, Step It Up and uh, Magic Mike having, you know, canine DNA in him. Okay. Because that was the first time I saw Eddie Redman, and I was like, oh, he's going to be a star. <laughs> hmm. From that movie? That's what you, that's, that was it? Oh, he was great in that movie. I, oh, okay. Look, man, there are certain movies that are bad, but then there are certain people's uh, acting stands out. And my favorite, terrible movie, great acting. He was the only person who knew what movie he was in. Masters of the Universe, Frank Langella, Skeletor. Okay. One of the best performances of all time, hands down. Fantastic. Uh, on that note, we're going to keep these things moving. We're going to churn these out because we got something to get through. But uh, short c- consensus is go, go, be excited for this show when it comes. August out. the fifth. August the fifth. Um, that's it for us here. Follow us on YouTube where we are right now. Also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch. We trying, we trying, y'all. We gonna uh, be on True Social. I'm in the waiting list. Okay, Um, on that, we out.